How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. You know me, I love to do videos on upcoming content to Forza Horizon 5, upcoming cars, features, updates, whatever. Well, there's been a bunch of information going around lately of a bunch of cars which were found within the Forza Horizon 5 game files. Believe it or not, there are a total of 36 cars which have been found within the files which are not currently in the game, and I'm going to tell you and show you them all in this video. You may have seen a few other YouTubers do videos on these leaked cars, while well, I try to include every single car in this video. In fact, I'm going to tell you and show you a few cars which no other YouTuber have mentioned, so I hope you don't think I'm copying them, I've just compiled absolutely every leaked car into this video. If this video does help you out guys and you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe, I always try to to compile everything into short videos for all of you to see. Now remember guys, these are all leaks. Just because these cars have been found in the files doesn't mean that we're going to get them. It's very probable that we'll get them at some point down the line, but don't, don't get your hopes up. It's not guaranteed. There are some that are more likely than others. Now before we get to the cars which were found in the game files, there are actually two cars which are confirmed to be within Forza Horizon 5, but aren't actually released yet. If you go to the accolades of Forza Horizon 5, there are two specific accolades which require you to drive a certain car. And those cars aren't actually in the game yet. So these are unreleased cars which are literally in the accolades. The first car is the 1974 Hoonigan Ford Bronco. This is a car that you have to drive to complete one of these skills accolades. It literally says it on your screen right here. If you go look for yourself, you'll see it. It means that we can't do this accolade, but it also means that that car is is a thing, you know, the Hoonigan Ford Bronco may be coming to Forza Horizon 5 at some point because it's literally required for one of the accolades. There's another one like this and it is the Aston Martin V8 Vantage, the old one from 1977. As you can see here, this is also required for an accolade. Why these aren't in the game yet, I don't know, maybe there was issues with the licenses or something like that. But yeah, this is another car which is literally written in an accolade that's not in the game yet. So those are the first two cars, but the other ones, the 34 left, these are all cars which were found within the game files and we actually have images of them as well from like the, uh, the Horizon 5 icons. So I'm going to read through them now. We have the 2017 Ferrari J50. We have the 2019 Audi TT RS. The 2020 Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. 2021 Ferrari Monza SP2. The 1949 Ford Dually Rat Rod Hot Wheels Edition. This one I don't have a picture of, unfortunately. The 1993 Porsche 962 CR Schuppen, however you pronounce that. The 1994 Jaguar XJ220 JWR. The 1966 Jaguar XJ13. The 1968 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. The 2003 Toyota Celica SSI, 1995 Honda CRX Del Sol, 1998 Mitsubishi FTO GP version R, the 2010 Audi R8 V10 Quattro, the 2010 Porsche Boxster S, 2010 Porsche 911 Sport Classic, the 1957 Ford Thunderbird, the 1971 Plymouth GTX 426 Hemi. The 1968 Pontiac Firebird, the 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle SS, the 1967 Dodge Coronet, I don't know how to pronounce that one, the 2012 Chrysler 300 SRT8, 2009 Subaru WRX STI ARX, 2009 Land Rover Defender, 2017 Subaru Crosstrek Desert Racer, 2013 Ford Shelby F150 SVT Raptor, 1985 Nissan Safari Turbo, 1980 Subaru Brat GL, 2006 Ford GTX1, 1962 Lincoln Continental, 1967 Volvo 123 GT, 2011 Peugeot 308 GTI, 1970 Dodge Coronet Super B, 2009 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8, 2010 Abarth 500 and the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. We have covered a couple of these in previous videos in the past, for example the Huracan Evo and the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. It's very good to see that these are sort of not confirmed but made even more likely because they've been found in the files. 
all of those cars were found within the Forza Horizon 5 game files and as you can see quite a few of them came with images as well which definitely helps the case of them possibly coming to the game in the future. Now once again I will say just because these cars have been found in the files doesn't mean we'll guaranteed get them at any point whatsoever. It can be complicated, it can be down to the car licenses or just the not wanting to add them. It can be complicated, I'm not going to bore you with it. If you're interested to know the details behind the car licenses go and watch AR12 Nick's recent video on leaked cars. He goes into detail, I'm not going to bother. But what I do have to say is these are leaked, these are from the game files, we're not supposed to know about them so don't get your hopes up about them, don't get excited but there are some of them which I think are likely to come at some point and I'm going to tell you them now. Well, the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ and the Lamborghini Huracan Evo are both cars which have been seen in trailers. They are obviously drivable, the images are ready, I'll be very surprised if we don't get these at any point but once again licenses might restrict that, we don't know, but those are very likely. The Jaguar XJ220 and the XJ13 have also been spotted in the game before, in the trailer and in the Forzathon shop icon. So I'll be very surprised if we don't get those two at some point as well. The Aston Martin V8 Vantage and the Ford Bronco Hoonigan are required for accolades, so once again those are a bit more likely than the others, but once again none of it's guaranteed, we don't know. But what we can do is we can go back to the Forza Horizon 4 leaked car list. Not long after Forza Horizon 4's release, we had a huge leaked car list, which was, you know, a very similar to this one. It had over a hundred cars on it, and at that point we didn't know how accurate it was. But to this day, I think over half of those cars ended up being added to the game, which is massive. That just proves that that Forza Horizon 4 leak was accurate and the cars that are found in the files do eventually get added. Not all of them, but some of them. We can definitely compare that to the Forza Horizon 5 leaked cars that we have now. Yes, I can almost guarantee that we will get at least some of these cars into the game, whether that's next month or in six months, we will get some of these. That's almost certain. How many of them and which ones? No idea. There's no way of knowing. If you've seen any YouTubers say, oh, we'll definitely be getting this, we'll definitely be getting this, we don't know. What I did find quite interesting, though, is I actually compared all of these cars to the Forza Horizon 4 car list. And from, as far as I could see, there is not a single car from this new leak that is in the Forza Horizon 4 leak which is a bit odd. Personally, I expected Forza Horizon 4 leaked cars to be sort of leftovers in the files, and I expected some of those leftovers to be included in this leak as well, but none of them match up. These, this is a complete new list of unreleased cars. I may have misread a few, and there might be one or two that was in the previous leaked car list, but it's not a bad thing, really. There are some quite cool cars there. The Ferrari Monza and the Ferrari J50, which I didn't even know was a thing, uh, would be brilliantly cool cars to have in the game. The TTRS could be quite fun, those are actually surprisingly powerful. And a Hot Wheels edition car would be cool. I don't know what that's about or why that's in the files. Um, I'm sure we'll see at some point though. Now personally, if I'm going to guess which ones of these are more likely to be added to the game than others, I would guess all of these here. And that's because this was part of a separate leak, but as you can see in the images, all of these cars have the images set up perfectly in the right sort of direction and the right perspective as what the cars look like in the car collection menu. It's sort of an overhead view of the car facing the bottom left hand corner. This is how the cars are displayed in the car collection menu in game. So they've obviously gone through the effort of getting these images ready um, for the cars. But once again it all does come down to the licenses but it seems like some of these cars are getting quite ready. They've got the images ready. Some of these cars have been driven in game like the Lamborghinis. We are definitely going to see some of these but how many and when we don't know. Anyway guys let me know in the comment section below which one of these you're most excited for and which one you hope we get soon. Just tell me what you think. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. I'll see you all later.